Hi everybody, it's Lizzie here, going to do another wig review for you today. So today we're going to review a wig from Natural Image, it's called Fantasy, and the colour we're going to review is Rich Chestnut Glow. There we go, so Fantasy is a long-standing favourite for, for many of us, me included. Um, it's a really nice wig from Natural Image. So we get it out, the wig is packed inside out, which helps keep the style um, neat in the box. You get um, fewer issues with the, the, the fibre scrunching up. So let's have a look at the inside first. Most of the wig is wefted. You've got Velcro adjusters at the back as normal and you have soft tabs in front of your ears with a little piece of metal strip in it so that you can bend in and out so you get a snug fit. On the crown you have this mesh section here. This bit here is a monofilament parting and that runs straight into a full lace front. So you have a natural front and a natural parting. Right, so let's give this a try, shall we? Let's take this one off. And let's put this one on. As always, you start by lining it up at the front. You pull it back over your head. So if you've not done this before, this is how you do it. Do it from the side so you can see. Up there, the back, and over we go. Bring the hairline down to the right place, adjust the ear tabs. There we go. So, I cheated slightly in that I'd already had this out of the box before I showed you. If this had come straight out of the box, then the first thing you do is give it a shake, give it a quick comb through with a wide tooth comb, protect the fibres from um, damage. So, right, let's have a look. What have we got? Let's first of all move the parting a little bit. With a mono parting, you've only got an inch or so to play with in terms of where you put your parting. You can't have it anywhere you want, um, as you would if you had a full mono cap. But I think for all intents and purposes, this gives you enough options. I'm quite happy with the, the parting right where it is. So the fantasy wig has long layers through the front and through the bangs. They're not much shorter than the rest of the wig. So the, the sort of longest parts come down to about here and the shorter bits are only a few inches shorter. You obviously could have a fringe cut into it if you prefer that. Um, speaking personally, because I had so many years when I was younger of having to have a fringe whether I liked it or not because lace fronts did not exist, I'm still not over the sheer joy of having a lace front and being able to have my hair off my face. It's absolutely brilliant. Trust me, if you were a kid in the 80s then um, the, there weren't many options for, for wigs in terms of no fringe. So. This is a nice auburn colour. It's a rich chestnutty red. Um, it's not a colour I tend to wear. I normally wear the colour you saw me wearing at the beginning of this video, a sort of um, dyed blonde look. Um, but this is actually really nice. It's got, it's not rooted, it's a blended colour. So there's a number of shades running through this. You've got some, some darker browns and you've got some reddish highlights on top. So it's a nice, nice look. It looks natural rather than flat, which is always good. This is one of those wigs where you have um, a little bit of permatease, which gives you some volume, but not too much. I don't think it looks sort of big and puffy and artificial. You can sleek it down like this if you prefer a, a sleeker look. Or you can give it a bit of volume if you prefer that. And I think if you wanted to have a bit more of a sort of boofy look on the fringe, over time you can, you can sort of train wigs to... Um, hold the shape you want but initially you sometimes need a little bit of hairspray um, don't use normal hairspray that you buy from boots or wherever buy stuff that's specifically designed for fiber wicks um, the the alcohol in normal hairspray can damage the fibers so make sure you use the right stuff um, or indeed gel or mousse that's designed for wicks there's, there's plenty of options on the simply wicks website so for me i would have it off the face with a little bit of volume at the crown balance out my round face Right, so let's give you a 360 of this then. Here's the back. As you see, it's quite a long wig. Comes right down to here. Lots of nice natural movement. And this side. It's got, it hasn't got curls as such, but there's, there's waves and there's layers cut into this, which is really nice. Again, I think it gives a nice natural feel. It doesn't feel... Um, too um, perfect. I think wigs that look very perfect, um, they can look a bit fake. Not many people have perfectly smooth, perfectly even length hair. 
um, so a little bit of, of waviness, a little bit of layering, all helps them to look natural. Um, so there we go. This is the Fantasy Wig by Natural Image in Rich Chestnut Glow. Thank you.